Uh, today's been really interesting. Like, I think sort of it's a very lovely gathering of like very different people. But sort of interesting questions around craft and about you know how to use language to describe what we do in a way that is open, welcoming, and accessible, which is a very live question. Like continually, like in in my practice, so it feels yeah, it's sort of a very rich and enriching. So the uh, the collaboration with performances and games and, and the new ways to explore language and. and, and all that kind of stuff, just just insane and stunning for me. I actually like the really weird video game that wasn't a video game. I thought that was fun, and it was called oh, Dot. Yeah, yeah, and I, I liked I it because it was it. like a nonsense video game, and I'm <laughs> terrible at video games. The dinner, the dinner table prototype was a very very good one. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. uh, the synchronization with the audio and, and how the actual performance was mixed in the, into the whole environment was. was um, I, I like the way that somehow it's between some kind of structured chaos. You know, we're all there, we're all different places, different expertise, different epistemologies, and we're all somehow facilitated to come together and to work together. But, um, the hackathons are a very unstructured space, and we're still understanding how to structure them better. And I think that here there is an understanding about how do you structure time and space and people. And you can see it in the fact that you've got a very tight schedule and people have very short times, but somehow it's all kept to. And also listen to some talks. So there was plenty of food for thought um, before we then sat down in groups and started to really interrogate some of the things we've done during the day. So good balance between practical play and activity and uh, hearing some good stimulating provocations from some of the speakers. We have a lot more uh, technology at our hands. We can do more technologically, but what we were do, able to do when we were here is really get at the heart of the process. We got to try a whole variety of different things. So everything ranging from yoga pretzels to the Brazilian uh, dancing, to uh, uh, initial prototypes, uh, all over the place, brainstorming, we did it all, and that's amazing in that short one week. Um, and so we really, we had an all-encompassing process, it was excellent. I was able to network and uh, get to know people who are really doing interesting stuff related with my uh, topics of interest. I think the methodology was uh, really effective with these short presentations with uh, then opportunities for us to um, interact in not the formal uh, conventional way but uh, later with the speed dating and uh, the opportunity to uh, also hear people from different cultural contexts like Canada, like Brazil, like Colombia. I think that is very important. I don't think it was planned for the conference to have to do games about intimacy because this is connected to the to the play. But in fact, it was really worked well for a very small group like this to have to do these weird, yeah, kind of intimate games and take a risk. It was about it's about taking a risk in a small group of people with people you don't know very well. So I thought that was something I hadn't thought about before, that, that was a very interesting aspect of it. So many great people like with a very good portfolio and a very open mind sharing his, the ideas and uh, the discussions was very, very good. And I really like to test all these prototypes that I, I, I really can't believe that people got to these prototypes in just one week. I think it's a great opportunity to meet new people, uh, people working in the same area or different areas, but similar that what I do, uh, I work with performance, but I'm uh, also involved in kind of games. So it, I think people who attended here today were more kind of mixed.